Yesterday I filmed a video about me getting mugged in Colombia. Today's video is the top 10 safety tips for tourists visiting Colombia. Make sure to share this video as this could be the difference between you having a good time or a bad time. In this video I'll go through the top 10 safety tips which are essential to make sure that you have no problems in this country. I was going to go to the pub this morning and discuss the safety tips but the pub's closed so I've come to the mall for a coffee and I've seen the coffee shop is closed but I know there's another one downstairs so we'll get down there. Behind there's a yoga class going on. Looks like too much hard work to me. Let's go and get that coffee and discuss the safety tips. Okay this place is called Oma, it's like the equivalent of Starbucks in Colombia. Let's get the latte. Good chance to practice my Spanish as well. Do like the look of that, but I'm on a diet. No can do. Quiero un latte mediana, por favor. Café latte? Uh, sí, gracias. There you go, fluent in Espanol. Well, that coffee was delicious. First off, before I get into the safety tips, I want to say there's a saying in Colombia saying no papaya. That means do not show valuables if you've got a Rolex watch, bringing money out in public, also showing telephones. Don't give the criminals an opportunity to snatch it off you. It's common sense. Okay, safety tip number one. Wear your backpacks on your front. You'll see a lot of Colombians who walk around and they've got the backpacks on the front. The reason being, if you wear your backpack on the back, some people can get a Stanley blade, rip the bag, and basically take your valuables. Also, it's not good having a backpack on your back because people can grab you from behind. So yes, always wear your backpacks on your front. Safety tip number two. Do not flag taxis down on the streets. Always use an Uber, or there's also other apps around as well. Always use the app, because if you flag a taxi on the street, it's what's known as the million dollar taxi ride. This is where the taxi driver can actually take you down a street, they can have friends waiting for you, and then they'll rob you. So yes, always use applications, never flag a taxi on the street. Safety tip number three, when going on the bus, the Transmillennial, always be aware of your surroundings. Watch your pockets. Also, like I said with number one, wear your backpack on the front. These buses get very crowded and it gives an opportunity for criminals to actually pickpocket you. So always be aware of who's around you, be aware of your pockets and also wear your bags on your fronts. Don't give them an opportunity to steal from you. Safety tip number four, be careful when people come up to you and ask for directions in the street with a map. What can happen there is something called scopamine, which is a drug which people can blow in your face and then you're under the influence. It's like, I can explain, you're in a zombie-like state and then you're under this influence of the drug of where they can march you to an ATM, they can rob you. It's a trick of which I was told be very aware of this. So anybody walks up to you with a map asking for directions, just be very aware of this because if you get that drug in your face, yeah, you are screwed. So yes, if anybody comes to you with a map, just walk away. Safety tip number five, watch your drinks and don't accept drinks from strangers. The same as safety tip number four, scopamine, the drug which is also known as devil's breath, that can be slipped into your drink and the consequences of that could be fatal. If you have enough amounts of that drug, it can kill you. So yes, always be aware of your drinks. If you've got to go to the toilet, do not leave a drink on the side. Make sure you drink your drink or get a new one. And definitely don't accept drinks from strangers. That's a big no-no. Okay, safety tip number six. Always have a taxi waiting for you if you're out on a night out and you're leaving a bar. If you don't do this, you're going to end up wandering around if you've had a few too many drinks and that can be a problem. There's areas in Bogota like Park 93 and Zona Rosa which have pl plenty of police and security around, so that's not too bad. But if you're in an area where there's no security, there's dark streets, like I run into a problem uh, in a previous video, if you haven't seen it, go and check it out. Basically, if you haven't got a taxi waiting for you after the bar, then you're going to be wandering around and that can create a problem. You're going to be a sitting duck. So always have a taxi to get to the next bar or to go home waiting for you after the bar. If you don't do this, that can cause major problems. 
There's Uber in Bogota, which I use all the time. And there's also an app called Cabify, which is really good. The price of taxis here are really, really cheap. So don't risk it for the price of $2 for a 10 minute taxi ride. It's not worth it. Safety tip number seven. Like I said earlier, stay in areas where there's security and police. If you've got a police presence or security, then you're gonna be a lot safer than if there's not. So, like I said before, Park 93, Zona Rosa, uh, Usaken uh, has some police and security around those areas. So these are the areas if you are going to walk around a bar late at night. If there's a police presence or security, then you will be fine. But like I said with number six, make sure you've got a taxi waiting for you at the bar if there's no police presence or security outside because you are risking it otherwise. Safety tip number eight. Don't get your phone out by the edge of the road. The reason I say this, I've been told by a lot of locals, if you're walking on the edge of the road and you've got your phone out, there's a lot of motorbikes in Bogota. It's easy for them to snatch it out of your hands. This has happened a lot. I've been told by locals it's happened to them. So that's a big no-no. If you're near the edge of the road, do not get your phone out because these boys on the bikes, they just come whizzing past, they'll snatch your phone, that's it, game over. So be aware of that one. Number nine, don't get your money or valuables out in public and also watch your phone use in public. If you need to use your phone in the day or the night, if there's a shop around, I suggest you walk into the shop. If you need to order an Uber or a Cabify taxi, then be safe, go into a shop, go into a mall, go somewhere with the security. Don't be walking around the streets with your phone out on your applications because again, like I said at the start, no papaya. Don't give the criminals a reason to make you a victim. So yeah, that's a good one. Definitely go into a shop or go into a mall if you need to use your phone. Don't use it on the streets. Okay, the last one, number 10. If you need to take some cash out from the ATM, you've got some banks that have got doors outside which you can lock. Make sure you lock those doors behind you. If there's security around, which I've seen near some of the banks, then that's even better. If you don't see uh, a door behind you which you can lock or any security, I suggest you go inside the mall and then you'll be fine in there because you've got security in the mall. So yes, definitely make sure there's a door behind you which you can lock if you're outside on the street. If not, do not go to an ATM, there's no door behind you because yeah, you're, you're running risk of a real problem there because people just walk past on the street, you take your money out and that's it, it's gone. So yes, on the streets, if there's a door, lock it. If not, definitely go inside a mall. For me, these are the essential safety tips for coming to Colombia. I've been told by a lot of locals these things. At first, when I first come here, I said in a previous video, I was like John Wayne, I was walking around the streets, my phone out, valuables. I still thought I was in Europe. There's a different law to the streets here. So yes, these tips are essential if you wanna have a safe trip to Colombia. So like I said earlier, if you know of anybody who's coming to Colombia, share this video, give them the info so that they will have a safe trip coming to Colombia and enjoy this wonderful country. I said in a previous video that I got into some trouble, but that's only because I didn't have the knowledge of how it works here. You can have a great experience in Colombia. I implore people to come to Colombia because you'll have such a fantastic time, but you need to follow these safety tips. If you don't follow these safety tips and you're like, oh, John Wayne, like I did, then you're gonna get in trouble. Okay, I hope these safety tips help you. I hope you have a wonderful trip when you come to Colombia. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters.